In this video, I'm going to show you how to test a Potter VSR flow switch. It's part of our uh, set riser system. So we have our sectional riser. We have our ball valve, which is a combination ITV and main drain. You do a uh, quarter turn to test, to open the test drain, and then you do a half turn, which means this will be facing up and it'll be pointing down to the main which will be a main drain. So we have our potter switch, we have our control valve, our flag is open, so water is going to be flowing through the system. We have a gauge at the bottom, as well as a gauge up here, see our pressure. We have our standpipe valve uh, for our hose connection. So I've already loosened uh, the cover on here. So this is the inside of our switch. So you can see on the uh, top here, we have all our wiring where it comes in with our resistor. And then you see in the center here, we have the little lever. This is what's gonna be activating the timer. So when it's down, the timer starts. Um, on the inside, this white part, it's gonna be the little plunger. Um, after the timer starts and this goes down, this will drop after a set time. And when that drops, that's when the a lot, the uh, flow switch activates and on the bottom we have our timer which we can adjust as you see the line gets uh, skinnier on this side and then as it goes around it gets thicker so the thinner the line the quicker the timer goes off the thicker the line the longer it takes to go off so I can adjust this as needed if I want to adjust the time and uh, inside the pipe you can't see it but there's a flapper that's connected to this little lever. So as the water, water's pushing up into the riser and going into the sprinklers, that means when it's pushing up, this lever will be pushed down. So just imagine as I open that valve, water's gonna be rushing through, this va uh, through the system and down and out that valve. So it's gonna push up the flapper that's inside the pipe. That's gonna push this lever down, which is gonna start our timer. So I can manually do it, of course, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it with our flow. So again, you know, we have our wiring up here with our resistor, our little lever, which is uh, attached to the flapper on the inside of the pipe. When the lever gets down, the timer starts. We wait for this white plunger to drop. When it drops, it activates, and we can adjust the timer with the turn dial right here. So <clears throat> I'm going to pull out my timer, and we're going to see how long this takes. So let's open the valve. Three, two, one. Okay. And then we're gonna start. So the, the lever's down, which means the water is pushing up on the flapper on the inside. So we're waiting for this white part to drop. When it drops, that's when it activates. That was the cover dropping. <laughs> All right, so, oh, there it goes. So it just activated. So you see the white part drop down, so now the switch is active. And we're still flowing, so the lever's down. So we're gonna put it back. And you see the lever's already back up, and the, the plunger reset. So now the alarm is active. So the flow switch is activated. So we had that come in at about 30 seconds for us. A little less, maybe. And once you go to your panel, verify your signal, then you could clear it. Like I said, now with the switch reset, we can clear that uh, alarm on the panel. And that is how you test the Potter VSR flow switch. Roof, stair one, water flow.